Hello everybody, this is Terry Britton. I decided to make another video, um, this time on the advanced search capabilities um, that I've discovered recently I thought was pretty hot. I hit advanced search from Google and uh, let's put in migraines. There we go. And uh, this time click on this right down here sort of hidden because it's closed all the time it says date usage rights numeric range and more and you click on it and uh, lo and behold what do you find but a thing called usage rights and even explains all these different usage rights things if you click on it it takes you to a page that talks about all of these different types of usage rights and um, free to use share or change even commercially is one of the options look at this okay let's bring the scroll list down not filtered being look free to use share or modify even commercially my gosh that sounds like the ticket like would be totally legally covered so let's search for migraines and here we have a whole bunch of uh, results right away of course Wikipedia makes this offering but look at all these other people that have said go ahead use it use my information I want you to and uh, and it's really quite a few I mean 5,000 results for this word good grief and this as all set up to be free to use by anybody change it alter it share it even commercially now that is mind-blowing so of course you still want to put your own touch on it your own spin and rewrite it so that it feels like you but but this way you're not you know feeling like you're bound by uh, uh, f guilt or fear of breaking the law or anything these people have published this information with this actual tagging on it now you might examine their page and see if they've got any information um, published on their page concerning the, uh, you know, the, the freedom of use that they, they mean. It defines what they mean by uh, this. But heck, this, um, this seems pretty straightforward to me that if it says free to share, use, share, use, share, or modify even commercially, that is, I mean, what else can you say? So, um, I mean, it's even modify. They also have a use or share even commercially. And um, so so obviously this means these are people that are intending to give you that kind of freedom to recycle their, uh, their materials. Okay? So that's pretty wonderful stuff. I just thought everybody would like to see that Google has this little tool in there. And... Uh, this is also great for checking niches, by the way. I've tried this little trick with the, see, normally it's every, anywhere in the page is the search. But you can also look just in the titles of a page and find out who's actually using this, um, the keyword, or even more importantly, a keyword phrase. See, under up here it starts saying all in title, migraines, and uh, start exploring that. You'll unearth a ton of interesting stuff when you start exploring not only the title but the text and um, the URL. This is the keyword showing up in the URL or in links to the page. That's people addressing this and linking to it uh, from an article or from their own blog um, and what keywords they used to link to the page. And uh, look at this. You also have um, where your keywords, I mean, uh, what region. So you can uh, pick any country and narrow it down to a country. And uh, that's pretty incredible, isn't it? Yes, it is. All right. Enjoy. I'm glad I could share this with you.